Hello to all the DCS pilots out there. Just want to put a quick video together to cover two good options, from my opinion, that are out there for folks that are looking to integrate a upfront controller or ICP, perhaps for the F-16 um, or various other panels, uh, whatever module you want, really, uh, into your cockpit setup. So uh, when I started out with the sim, I didn't have a whole lot going. Um, I've since added wind wings panels, uh, some Cougar NFDs, so things are coming along. Uh, but when I first started, all I really had was um, the need to want to get some switchology in there. And the Matric app, uh, it's spelled M-A-T-R-I-C, Matric app, it's available in the Google Play Store, uh, really allowed you, or allowed me, to create some custom decks using uh, different graphics buttons that I created on my own, as well as some that they already have, uh, to create some custom decks here that allow you to use uh, lots of different things like I made these buttons out of screen captures from DCS um, And they don't function like you're not going to see the button. Well, actually if you press jet you can see it It does function a little bit because you can create two different buttons and it'll look different when you press it But that's if you want to really get into it Otherwise you can just have it be whatever button you want it to be and it'll do the function you want it to For instance, I started it primarily for the UFC as well as the F keypad for comms uh, so you can see I've got all my comm switches there, all my F keys are there, I've got some uh, critical startup uh, buttons there like the FCS paddle switch and takeoff trim button. Uh, those are all easily accessible just right in front of me instead of having to look down with track IR and use my mouse and all that good stuff. And then the UFC here functions really well. Um, you can bring up, you can see I've currently got autopilot engaged and you can see these don't, these don't change but up here you know it'll show me what's going on. So if I press uh, if I come out here, if I press the TACAN key, you can see it brings up the TACAN page. I can dial in, let's say, 71 X-ray for mom or uh, Roosevelt. And then I can also, oh, that's the beacon, but I can turn it on. So TACAN's on now. I've got ILS. I can bring that on. Data link. That's already on. We can bring up voice alpha, voice bravo, right? And then everything works really well. So, I mean, it's a simple keyboard hotkey kind of program, but you can customize it for whatever you want. You can create as many different pages as you want. Uh, like on this page, I've got all my lighting controls set up there, my MVGs, all that good stuff. Uh, radar switch, INS, you know, some basic uh, wings, wing folds, which I then later moved into the front, uh, the front page or the main page. Canopy controls, all that stuff. So um, really, really, useful and i think to get the full functionality with all the pages that you want out of it i think it costs three dollars and 95 cents you know this this tab here that i got from amazon um was 99 dollars. so there are some fantastic like really great simulations of ufcs out there uh that that cost a lot of money and and they're a really nice piece of kit but if you're not in the market for something that uh expensive or maybe that um reserved for only one particular module. This allows you to bring up a lot of different modules. I've created a ICP for the Viper on this one, uh, and then you could do whatever you wanted for it. So that's Matric app. So, but then once I got all these switch panels, I didn't really need some of those uh, functions anymore. And so I investigated some other options out there. And one of the other ones that is out there is called DCS UFC. And so what DCS UFC, also available in the Google Play Store does for you, is it replicates what's going on, um, it, it actually shows you on the pad now. So unlike Matric, where the lenticulars and the um, OLED displays did not populate, now what you'll see is when I utilize this, say for instance, you know, to bring up the TAC end page, all right? It's on, you can see it says on, I can toggle it off, it goes off, I bring it back on, dial in on the pad now, that, and it's copying it on the screen here. So. It works really well. Uh, you can go autopilot, you can bring up your attitude hold, toggle that off, toggle that back on, and all you have to do is use the pad. Additionally, you know, you can change your radio frequencies. So just like up there, if I go to channel two, well, it says channel two down here as well, and I could punch in whatever freak I want. If I wanted to come back to manual and dial in, uh, say for instance, Nellis Tower, 327, oops, I'm in guard, so it's not gonna let me do that. If I go to manual, there we go. And go three, two, seven, oh, 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 enter, and boom, it's working. So works really well. Uh, the UFC works just like it should. You can change your radio volumes using these little knobs here, um, do all that good stuff. And then the Hornet has some other functionality. If I swipe to the side, well, it brings up some of these. Those are not working right now, but um, if I go back this way, there we go. 
uh, the IFEI, right? So this panel actually works. And so this is kind of designed if you had a whole bunch of tablets and you just wanted to get all these screens replicated, then um, some modules have more screen support than others. The Hornet currently only has the UFC and the IFEI module uh, module workings, but he is planning, the developer is planning to add additional functionality. You saw those MFDs. I think he's planning to kind of get those working at some point, but right now uh, those are not functional. But you can see here, you can set your bingo in here if you wanted to. You can change it on the pad here and you know, down here, you can see it changing. So really great functionality. Um, really don't have any issue with it. And for a hundred bucks for the pad and then the ability, if I bring back, uh, let me see if I can go to the other modules. It's not gonna show anything right now, but if you go back to the menu here, close that. These are all the modules that are currently available that have some functionality. So you got your A10, your Harrier, your Tomcat, and if you collect click in these, these are the screens that are currently functional. So A10's got his UFC and the warnings page. Uh, F16, for instance, has um, an ICP warnings and the DED. And I believe there's a combined screen that puts the DED on top of the ICP. I haven't played with it yet, but I think uh, that is a pretty useful screen because it's going to replicate that DED for you right on top of the ICP. But anyway, um, lots of different functionality in this app and the developer for both apps. I would say the Matric app and this DCS UFC developers are very responsive. They get back to you. They both have... Um, well, Matrick has a Discord channel where the dev is very, very helpful. He's helped me with a lot of different things, uh, get things going, although I will say it was fairly easy to get both of these apps going. Uh, Matrick is kind of a server-based entity that runs off your PC and then connects over your Wi-Fi to your tablets. So you might run into some firewall connectivity type stuff, but once you get through that, uh, you're good to go. I did not run into any problems with that, but then the DCS UFC requires a export Lua file modification, but the developer gives you that code on the Google Play Store and his website. So um, I'm no genius when it comes to coding or changing Lua files, but I was able to get it working on the first shot. So uh, that's a win for me. So if anyone's looking for inexpensive ways to get that UFC switchology going, um, yeah, you don't have a tactile button per se. It is a touch screen, but um, if you're not in the market for one of the really nice uh, repli replicas out there, then I would say both of these apps applications uh, could be right up your alley. Enjoy.